Hello everyone, today in this video we are going to see how to use MongoDB database in your Studio account. MongoDB database is a NoSQL database with uh, JSON-like documents and uh, we have a dedicated MongoDB connector present in our Studio account. So let's just dive into it. Let's click on connectors. Add a connector. Here you can find the MongoDB connector. Provide the details like uh, the name and under the general section you have two options either you can provide the connection string or you can provide the details like host, database name, in, uh, password and others in individually. So for this I will be using the connection string. As you can see that all the details has been fetched automatically from the connection string. Let's do a test connection. The connection was successful now you can save the connector okay so it is saved now you can find the uh, added connector right here on the connector list next is we want to add query so a query builder will be open on your screen and here you have to uh, provide all these details so under the collection we have a drop down with uh, all the collection names present in your database so i want to use listing and reviews and there we you can find a drop down with all sort of actions which you can perform on your mongodb database and all these actions have their own separate like uh, parameters required like if i click on insert menu you can see that i have to provide json format to insert the data so let's just try one let's say find okay so under find you can see that there are also different sorts of parameter which you can pass to the query let's do a limit of 10 skip none and let's do test query the response you can see right here let's try out other parameters like projection is basically uh, removing or property from your collection which you, you are requesting so let's say if uh, there is there is this column of space right so this property i don't want to see let's do query now you can see that the whole space column has been removed right now there is one more additional thing which you can do instead of making it all hard coded you can also provide dynamic data so right here just simply write it limit so let's try filter and here i want to filter minimum nights and I also want to give this value a variable. Okay, let's do. And the minimum nights I want to skip it to. Let's hit test query. Right here, you can find that all the minimum nights with just two values are been showed and the limit with the 10. So you are done with building a query and the name, let's give it a name. You can simply click on save and the query will be saved. So to know more, you can refer to our articles present in our, in our community section of thronanchu.com. Thank you.